here and today we have a morning coffee talk. Today is Monday morning and it is extremely early. It's like 7 12 a.m. I went to bed early last night I guess well the last I looked at the time it was like 1 30 in the morning and that's pretty early for me so I am not a morning person but I've been up now for like a couple hours like I woke up at like 5 30. And it's been a couple of hours and I'm still like, you know, I'm, I'm waking up, but not really. Does that make sense? It is 66 degrees out. It's very nice out actually. Like it's very, like the sun is out. So it feels a little bit warmer. Anyway, I'm on my way to Wawa cause I went to go make me coffee. Okay. And I'm like, I want to do a coffee talk, but I have to have coffee. And I ran out of all my coffee. I just have like the cappuccino. I don't know what happened but it cut off on me because I forgot to turn the Wi-Fi off I, it, anyway it doesn't matter so I I just have like the cappuccino like not the stuff that wakes you up so I have to go to the store later and get some but I had to go to Wawa anyway why and get some double dutch chocolate milk but I want to get my coffee because I love Wawa coffee and then um, I guess we'll sit in the backyard and have some, a little chat, have a different type of coffee chat, like a different background. So let me go in here real quick and I'll be right back. Okay. Let me tie my, my shoe. I got my coffee here. And then they only have four double dutches. And see how early it is? And they sell out so quick unless uh, they didn't stock yet. But then I got three sandwiches. I got a sizzle sausage bagel, a sizzle sausage muffin. This is an egg and cheese. This is like, I don't know if this is an egg and cheese or not. I didn't look in it. And then um, another muffin egg and cheese. So I'm on my way home. I, t I think I told you right today's Monday and tomorrow Isaiah is off so he's gonna cut the backyard for me which I am so excited for that because you know I bought like the lawn mower the weed I like weed whacking but I found out I don't like lawn mowing the lawn too much <laughs> I will if I have to but a lot of times the boys work so like especially Isaiah right he works 3 to 11 um, and then, you know, of course he has two days off, but a lot of times he works like a day or like overtime. He always, he always wants to work overtime, but so, a lot of times instead of getting off at 11, he works until like one or 12, you know, they, you know, they ask him to stay over for a little bit. And then in the mornings he goes to the gym with a couple of his friends. So, I mean, he, you know. It's hard, and so anyway, he has off tomorrow. I'm like, do not go work overtime. I need you uh, to do help me do some yard work and stuff, so. All right, so let me go ahead and get home, get situated, and I will meet you guys in the backyard. Okay, so we are in the backyard. I have my coffee. I haven't even drank any yet. Let's open her up. I love Wawa coffee. Every time I hear a noise, I'm like, is that a snake? A lot of times it's just the squirrels and stuff. So update on the backyard. I haven't done anything. But like I was saying earlier, Isaiah has off tomorrow. So the grass, I mean, it doesn't really need to be cut, but he, I'm gonna make him cut it and then like up this over here. But he's gonna help me. We got one of those uh, like tree cutter things and he's going, Ooh, there is a web right here. I'll show you a picture. Anyway, he's gonna help me um, take some of that down to get rid of this. I don't know how to explain it. Um, because I've been having big branches falling down. And I think it's coming from this tree. I don't know if it's this tree or this one. I mean, and the one branch uh, was so huge, put a dent in my hood, which can easily be like, you know, popped up, but, and, but no scratches. I can't believe I had no scratches on it. It's funny, so like I, I said, you know, Isaiah goes to the gym and stuff, and 
Isaiah has always been insecure about his height, right? He was always the smallest. Um, I remember when he was in fifth grade and you know how they would have like Christmas concerts and stuff like that. I would go like, you know, go to the, as a parent, you know, go watch. I'm like, where's Isaiah? They put him with the third graders or in, in the front, like sitting instead of standing because he was always so little. They thought he was, you know, younger than what he was. And I always said, and now Tyler, he's always been very tall. I think Tyler's 5'11", but Tyler was was always like one of the, the tallest in his class, you know, and then when he got a certain age, he just stopped growing. But a lot of the men in my family are very tall. The women are short. And I said, Isaiah, once you hit puberty, oh, there's a little birdie there. Once you hit puberty, I'm like, or, or you know, your teens, you will grow. Um, and that's what the doctor always told me. They rather have a child grow during like puberty or later on because they'll be taller than a lot of times when you're very tall, when you're, you know, a lot of, you, you stop growing like what Tyler did, even though he's still tall, he's five foot 11. So anyway, Isaiah was always like five, 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 six. And uh, now I have a cousin who was very short growing up. We used to call him shrimp and all that other kind of stuff. And now he's like over six foot. So I was looking at him the other day and I'm like, I noticed like he's getting buff and, and all that stuff. And I'm, I'm noticing like I'm looking up to him. And I think he's like five nine now. Like he just, he's grew when he's eighteen, gonna be nineteen next month. And you know, you would think at that age they stop growing, but it's like he's starting to grow now. I don't know what happened. It's beautiful out. I remember when I used to be so depressed, I would just stay in my room. In days like this, okay, so it's June. It's like and it's almost seventy out. And, I mean, it's still early in the morning. But why didn't I ever just come outside and enjoy? That's what we need to do. I know so many people that don't even sit on their front porch, don't even sit outside. Like they, you know, you don't enjoy nature anymore. You stay in the house. And I was a victim to that too. But I noticed if I start my day just being outside, listening to the birds, enjoying the nature, you know, I, I talk to God, you know, and, and, and I always say, how thank you, God. Thank you for these beautiful trees. Thank you for this. Thank you for this. And once I start my day, you know, on a positive note, it, it's so much better, you know? Oh, this is like the best coffee. Wow, it definitely has the best coffee. Nothing's really been going on on YouTube that I've noticed. I see a lot of people talking about Jessica Kent and... You know, I have an unpopular opinion if you don't know what's going on. I, You know, if you don't know who she is, she's like in the... I guess you would say the prison community, the uh, recover, recover, addiction, like recovering community. And um, I guess things can, are coming out, different things about her, that maybe she's not a recovering addict. I, I, I really don't know. Um, different things about her. I don't know if she was married or it was just her boyfriend and she was with them, but yet she was cheating on them with this guy, Jason, and what she's, and I'm thinking, why do people care about her sex life? Who can, if she was cheating, listen, she has to answer to God for that. That That's her, you know, but then this is where it's like, I hear a lot of people say, well, she, she has a channel that she t shares her personal life. But the, this is why I feel a little bit different because I, this vlog, this channel, I share my personal life, right? You know, I'm going through a divorce. I, I share everything on this channel, ba basically, you know, but you know, I told you that like my husband and my son had an altercation, okay, which we still have to go to court for and stuff. But even though I tell you that if somebody looked up, his, if somebody actually went and found the police report, oh, I would be pissed. That's crossing the line that's going in real life. I don't care if I share it or not, or if I, whatever, that, that, that's even though it's public, anybody can get it, that's going a little bit too far. Um, let's say I was dating, which I'm not, but let's just say that I was dating and I'm go, you know, but I'm in the middle of a divorce, like, that's my personal life. Like if somebody was to look more, I don't know how I feel about that. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think if somebody does make a channel and shares their personal life, how far is too far? 
And I see a lot of videos. Now she made a video saying, look, if I want to talk about, because I guess while this guy Jason was in prison, she was like, they found there was emails of her like sex text, like, I don't know what you would call it. Very nasty and dirty uh, emails, sexual, but she was still involved. We'll say her husband. I, I don't think they were married, but they were together for a long time. They have children together. And it's like, and people are saying, oh, she was being fake. I was being fake with me and my husband. How many times did I say, oh, and act like we had the best marriage? Because I felt like at that time it was nobody's business. And I'm just not going to, I, I didn't want to share that. So just because she says at that time her and Reese had a great marriage and all that doesn't mean that's how it really was. I've told you before, you cannot believe everything that's online. People don't always have the perfect life. There's a lot of actresses and actors. That's why I've always shared that with you, you know? So never be jealous if you see a YouTuber or an influencer or uh, uh, Instagram or TikTok or that acts like they have this perfect life and all this money and all this other kind of stuff. What people show you for 15 minutes or even these shorts videos where people say, oh my God, you know, like the husband and wife and their cute little family. That's just what, 90 seconds, 60 seconds, 30 seconds, however long it is of them sharing your life. That doesn't mean that's how it is. A lot of people act for money, you know? And I'm not saying it's not like that. I'm just saying, you know? Um, so that's where I, I'm like, mm, I think if she wants to share her personal life, she gets to decide what she wants to share and what she doesn't. And I just think either you watch somebody for entertainment, but why, why go real life and then I see people that always say you should not go real life but then they're okaying people looking up police reports and stuff I, I I I don't understand it but maybe because I don't watch her I don't really watch a lot of her maybe I just don't know maybe I'm not understanding and I don't know the full scenario now I did hear like she took another person's channel down I mean I don't have a hundred percent proof it's not in my face that Jessica Kent did like with YouTube. I'm not saying that she didn't do it. So I can't judge on that because I don't know um, if she did or she didn't. But she'll have to answer to God for that if that's what she did, you know. And karma's a bitch. God don't like ugly. It'll come back to her if she did do that, you know. Now, I do have an issue when she went on there. I made a video a while ago. I did go on there before and say because she went on there and was saying how her husband Reese um had a relapse no i don't think that's right i don't think she should ever share that because that's his business but if she wants to share she's separated or he's abusing her i think if 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 he is abusing her i don't know but if he is document it that's what i'm doing i, I, well, I wasn't abused not physically but i'm documenting everything you know that's why i speak about it too you know um but I don't know. Let me know how you feel. Like I get comments on my channel that says I share too much. I share too much personal information, especially when I did like how much I make on this channel on YouTube. Um, you know, pe some people were like, you know, you, that's too personal. You share too much information. So some people might feel like that on my channel. I don't know. Like when I talk about my divorce and stuff, I share my truth, my story, but I would never ever sit there and talk about him, what he's doing, if he was dating somebody. I mean, I don't know if he is, I don't speak to him, but I'm just saying I would never share his personal life. I don't even tell you his name. You know what I mean? I just tell you like what I went through, how I felt, you know, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Now, I guess Jessica Kent went online and talked about a police report with this re with her husband now, I don't think that should have been, well, see, then again, because I spoke about what happened with my husband and my son. I don't know, but i that's all I told you. I didn't share what exactly happened. I mean, you might be able to put it together, and I will never do that because it's not my place to share, to tell, just that they had an altercation, and that was that, and that I chose my son. Um... But like she went into full detail. Now, I don't think she should have done that because that's when you do have people that start looking into things, especially if they know names. That's why I never said my husband's name because I learned early on. I mean, I remember when I had my first drum a few years ago, 
I had somebody like trying to look up my husband because she knew his name to find things on him. And one thing I will always say, my husband doesn't get in trouble. You're not going to find anything on him, you know? Um, it, it was just weird to me. So I learned early on. Now, I, I share my kids' first names, but they don't have my last name. They all have different na last names because I have different fathers. So unless you know their last names, like they don't have my same last name or my maiden name. Do you know what I mean? So... That's the only reason why I felt comfortable, you know, sharing their first name. And Lexi's name, that's that's not her real name. That's her nickname, you know. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. I and mean, that's the only thing I have just like on YouTube that I see that's really going on. I don't know. But what do you think about that? Do you think if I, if somebody shares like uh, something that happened, is it okay to look on the police report to see if she's exaggerating or lying? Or do I just not have the full story? I, and I really want to know that because if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, you know. But let me know down below. What do you guys think about that? Because the, the reason why I'm asking is because it's like, well, I share my personal stuff. Am I sharing too much? And is it where people think, let me go online and see what happened to Ann's husband and son? Because I would be pit when, if, oh my God, I don't even know what I would do. Because that's going real life. And how can these people say, don't go real life? I don't know. Enough about that. It's early. <laughs> and, I, and I'm and i only like halfway through my coffee. So I need to wake up some. Let me see if I can find that branch um, that fell. And there's, I see other branches that are falling. Let me see what I can show you. Here's that thing that's right above my head. I don't know if that's a spider thing or a net. I don't know what that is. There's some leaves in there, but. Oh, gosh. Okay, I don't know what you guys can see. Do you see this branch right here that has no leaves on it? That looks like that's getting ready to fall as well. Because these all have leaves on it. This branch right here. Right, I don't know what you can see. If I zoom it in. Do you see that one right there? It's, it, it's dead. And it looks like it's from the root, which you probably can't see. Looks like that's getting ready to fall down. Um, these are just small ones that are like coming down. This one looks like that one just fell. That, that's not too bad. Okay, so my son put it over here. This is where the city owns, but that's the one that fell right there. That big branch is the one that fell off, and it's pretty heavy. It may not look it, but it, it, it's, it's got some weight to it. And you can see it fell right off the, the tree. But he's going to put that in the front yard. I don't know why he put it over here. I see another branch getting ready to fall. Do you see that? Where's my finger? Right there. It's just hanging. But it's too far up for me to grab. You see it? It's just hanging. There's no way I can get it though. Or maybe that's where the tree branch fell off of. Now that could have been from there. Oh, I wonder if that's where it came off of. See how far up that is? I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get off of here. Say my proper goodbye. Please like this video. It really helps me out or dislike it. That helps me out as well. Make sure you leave a comment. Commenting really helps out with engagement, even if it's just an emoji. Don't forget to let me know what you think about with the Jessica Kent or just any content creator. What do you think is going real life, even if the YouTuber shares it? Do you think then it's, it's, it's okay because they share it? Let me know down below. And uh, yeah, that's everything, guys. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy, and most importantly, always stay you no matter what, and I will see you in my next video.
Bye, guys. Oh, and next time I do my coffee talk out here, any type of vlog, this will be different. I'm going to record it as well. We're going to take this fence off, cut all around here, and start the decoration process. And I will be recording it. All right. Bye.